like a square. Just as we did with a triangle, we could start from a random location inside the shape, pick one of the corners at random, draw a line to that corner, and find the midpoint of that line. We remove the original point and start the pattern over with that midpoint. If we continue picking random corners, drawing lines, and finding midpoints, the points we generate scatter evenly over the square and don't come together to make any kind of structure. Let's adjust the pattern a bit. Looking at the Sierpinski triangle, there's a central mm -hmm. void made by the outside triangles. To define this void, two larger triangles span across the overall boundary of this fractal. To make a similar central mm -hmm. void in the square, we would need to make a 3 by 3 grid of squares to define a central space in the middle. The triangle needed divisions by 2, but the square needs divisions by 3. As opposed to the pattern that places points in the middle of the lines, with the square we should make points that mark the line at 2 thirds. If we run the pattern again, this time drawing points at the 2 thirds mark on our lines, we see a structure of diminishing sized squares start to be defined. That is more interesting than we had before, but we haven't yet matched the equivalent of the Sierpinski triangle. We currently aren't defining any pattern in these locations of the 3x3 three three grid. To draw the pattern into these areas, we can make additional points along each midpoint of the overall square.